Bob Hoban, and uh, we're going to go through a whole bunch of country piano styles today. A lot of licks, a lot of tunes, and I hope you get something out of this tape. Uh, Vassar is going to play the melody on these tunes, since I'm going to be playing the rhythm and the bass part. And these tunes are uh, a couple of the old Bob Will standards to illustrate Western swing. But let's try to stay all night. Okay. Because we can do it here. You want to start the rhythm off there? Let's get to these lines. Now, Stale Night was played in G, and the bass part was played in a much lower octave, but I'm going to play it, as I said before, in the center of the piano to be able to illustrate closer and bring the keyboard larger onto your TV screen. This is it. Start on one in the key of G. Eight notes to a scale. Each note has a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Start on G. One, three, four, four sharp, five, six, two, five. A lot of people can't hit that chord in rhythm. One way to hit that chord in rhythm is to do exactly what I just illustrated. Play the one chord, play the G tonic chord. And play three chords. That will keep you in rhythm. Later on, you'll be able to do Let's play Maiden's Prayer the way we just played it, but once again, I'm going to transpose it up an octave. And let me show you the piano part. down from eight to seven to six to five and then the walk up again five to six to seven to eight now let's try it slowly Let's go on to the first person, a man named Moon Mulliken, who actually started a country music sound with the piano. Moon had a big blocky chord feeling in his hands. Instead of playing a single note line, he'd play Let's go into the right hand pattern, which, as you've just heard, is basically a symposium on thirds. Start with one and three, and just climb them. Hold your position, one and three, two and four, two sharp and four sharp, and three and five. Going up to four and six, coming back to three and five. Moon style left country music and went into rock and roll. That running, that last run, which I'm going to stop and show you. So a gentleman named Floyd Kramer 
changed the world in country music when you sat down and started playing licks like these. Probably, well, one of the most played licks. Is that. Now, I'm going to play it very slow and break it down for you. We're in the key of C. The five note and the eighth note of the C scale are hit. And they're slurred to the sixth note while holding the eighth note down. <laughs> 